Hey guys! First off, let me address the elephant in the room. I cut my own hair, and it came out pretty well. Uh, I did record it, so after the whole Halloween videos, um, I will be posting how that went. I was going to wait until after October to cut it, but my next video just be me getting a haircut because, like, it doesn't even lay nicely anymore. <sighs> I need a haircut. Do, 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 do. It kept driving me insane, so I decided, oh, let's just do it, and I did, and I. I think it came out well. Next is just to dye it and then see how I messed that up. But that's not the point of this video. It is still October. It is still spooky season, which means it is time for another Halloween edition of Mommy Makeup. And today we're going to go a little bit more classic, but still fun, still spooky, hopefully, maybe. Pen. I was very much debating on if I was going to do like clown makeup since that seems really popular, uh, except I don't like clowns. I bounced back and forth a lot with the dye. I bounced back and forth a lot with this. this. I bounced back and forth. This. I bounced back and forth a lot with this. Who? <laughs> we say that ten times fast. So we're going to need a few things. You're going to need to take another nice little trip to Spirit Halloween, or just like a Walmart, because I got this at Walmart. You're gonna need white, and you're gonna need black. And then to help out, you are also going to need some black eyeshadow, which I have. Just this nice little one. So, first thing we're going to do, if I can find it, go into your kid's school supply kit, or go to like a family dollar, and just get a stick of glue. Now, it sounds weird, but we need to get rid of our eyebrows. So you're gonna take your stick of glue and you're just gonna go up. Follow the eyebrow, but just kinda, you're gonna glue it down. Don't worry, this washes off like really well, especially the dollar store brand. It's a great tip for like cosplayers and stuff too. Now that our eyebrows are fully glued, we're gonna get a little bit of that white and we're just going to go over it. So the eyebrows are definitely going to need multiple layers. But while we're getting the white out, also, I'm using a makeup sponge to apply the white. Oh, that is cold. That is very cold. I run out of white before I actually finish this video. Dude, my life, I'd cry. I would cry. I'm not really worried about my eyes because that's going to be black, so. It is patchy as all hell. That's okay. Really? Really, it's okay. So now we go in with our lovely black, and yeah, you could do this while the white is still wet. I just have a nice little paintbrush. You're going to take where your eyebrow is, and you're going to actually draw a line right there. Do be careful around your eye, though, if you are following along on this tutorial, because I don't want to be responsible for anybody like damaging their eye or anything. Now the other eye. Just like with the bloody nose, you are going to have to draw a little in your astral cap. 
in your actual nostril. should be dry so it should be easier. I've got a nice, I just use paint brushes instead of like makeup brushes. Go ahead, I'm going to get that black. And just add some detail marks. You can add some cracks. You can add this with the paint as well. I just find it's easier with the eyeshadow. Because you can get a fainter type. You can also go in and actually do some like blending inches. sure I had enough for my face but we're down there so let's go ahead and then we go back to our paintbrush with the black on it I'm just gonna cut out Quite a lot of this is actually going to be black. It's the fun part about making the mistakes with the white because black will cover it up. It's a lot harder to cover up black with white than it is to cover up white with black. talking because I'm concentrating and I realized I'm filming a YouTube video so I should really talk. Hello. Okay, well, there was not a lot of talking in that. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the music. I took a lot more concentration than I expected it to. I like how it came out. Be a skeleton for Halloween? Maybe. I don't know. Hopefully this washes off easily. I think how much harder this would have been if I had kept my hair long. <gasps> Ugh. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, it's very easy. You just need black and white. And of course I use the eyeshadow to get kind of the shading aspect, but you can do it with just black and white. Uh, I got those at Walmart for less than a dollar. 
You can also go to Spirit Halloween. I'll be honest, it's probably more expensive there. Now you can be a skeleton. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see that video of me chopping off my own hair, you're gonna have to subscribe and you're gonna have to ring the notification bell. So go ahead and do that now. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. drying and like my eyes are, every time I blink it's like pulling my skin. Ah! I got some on my shirt. I mean it's a black shirt but I'm still upset about it. Oh no! I looked down and it messed it up. I mean I, I'm not going anywhere. I'm literally just gonna wipe this all off. Spooky scary skeleton got snoovers down my spine. Dun dun dun, bless your soul.